Governor Phil Murphy dashed into a school, dodging the pounding nor'easter. Obviously, this is something we're taking very seriously. The governor says his administration has paid attention to the forecast the last few days, preparing for nature's wrath. Things that we're worried about and focused on are uh, obviously a, a pretty nasty cocktail of high winds, heavy rain, you got high tides um, early and then late, and snow uh, beginning in more places than not. High winds roar through the trees, knocking some down and causing thousands to lose power. The governor warned to watch out for downed lines and slippery roads, as state police report responding to more than 100 motor vehicle crashes and incidents. Be very careful driving. Um, personal recommendation would be to use your discretion, and if you don't have to uh, get out and do something, I'd probably suggest you, you uh, take the alternative of staying back. The state has activated its emergency operations center. As the governor monitors the impact of the storm on nature and New Jersey. He came here to James Monroe Elementary School on this Read Across America Day talking to kids about protecting the environment. The Lorax by Dr. Seuss. On the birthday of Dr. Seuss, the governor read to this excited and interactive first grade class. But now, says the Wunzler, now that you're here, the word of the Lorax seems perfectly clear. Unless someone like you cares a whole awful lot, nothing is going to get better. Oh, it's not. The governor quizzed his listeners for one moral of the story. So not to just like cut, cut the tree down. Yeah, just yeah. How many teachers can say the governor came to their class to read a message of caring for the earth? It's very important that we teach our students daily about our earth and how important it is that we only have one and we need to take care of it. It was such an awesome experience. And then just like that, the governor slipped away on Read Across America Day. In Edison, Michael Hill, NJTV News.